Hi kids, it's Miss Ashley here. This week we're gonna be doing some Easter crafts that we can use to decorate our house for Easter. We're gonna use stuff that we find around the house. While we can't go to the stores right now, we still have tons of fun things around the house that we can use. Now for our first craft, we're gonna need some paper towel. Okay, this is way too much paper towel. No, no, no. I need like less paper towel. <laughs> uh, still too much paper towel. I need way less than this. Okay, this is what I need. Just three squares of paper towel. I'm also gonna need um, some scissors and some colored markers and a cup with water in it. A paintbrush if I have one and if I don't have a paintbrush I can use a small teaspoon hi everybody so now we've got our paper towel we're gonna be making um, eggs that we can use for decorating for Easter so first we take our paper towel and fold it where the perforations are so we have three pieces we can fold it like that now we're gonna fold it one more time so we have a nice square shape okay now that we've got our square shape we're gonna take a marker i'm gonna use a black marker and draw an egg shape that we are going to cut out of our paper towel now you can do this with just eyeballing it, but I find it kind of helps to have that shape before I start cutting. Okay. So once we have our egg shape, we're gonna cut with our scissors. Now younger kids, you can get your parents to help you cut. Now this is a supply that we find in the house. If you guys are out of paper towel, um, you could use coffee filters and, and make an egg shape doing the same thing with a coffee filter. It has a similar effect. Okay, now I'm gonna discard this part. So now I've got several egg shapes. Yay, that's exciting. So I can make more than one. My kids really got into this yesterday and they were making eggs for about an hour. Just different types of eggs. So now that we have our eggs, I'm gonna start with one over here, just by itself. Okay, so I'm gonna take a marker. Now this is a good test to see if your markers are working. <laughs> if not, you know, that's okay too. <laughs> Just get out as much color as you can. You kind of want to have no white spots left on your egg. Now another piece of equipment that I didn't mention is um, after we get our eggs wet, you might want to put them on something um, to dry. And you could use a cake pan, um, like a cookie tray, that would be a good idea, or like a large Tupperware lid, or even like a cardboard box. Anything that you just, you don't want to get um, your table super wet. <laughs> Because this craft involves water. Okay, so I've done two colors. I'm gonna do a third color here. Now, I have the kids do whatever design they want. I had my girls doing eggs with polka dots and um, stripes and even like just different types of um, shapes on their eggs. Some more smiley faces. They were really into it. Okay, and now that I've got a lot of color on my egg, 
I am almost ready for the water. Okay, now if you do have a paintbrush, you can have a cup of water and use your paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, I'll show you what else you can use. So I'm not going to be painting my egg, I'm dropping the water, just dabbing it. And this is going to make it my colors run together and create some new colors in between. So you're going to want to get most of your egg wet. Now paper towel is kind of nice because it is pretty strong. You don't need to worry about it ripping. But you want to be gentle. You don't want to do brush strokes across your egg, you're just dropping water. Okay. And if you don't have a paintbrush, you know what you can do? You can take a little, this is a half teaspoon. And pour the water right on your egg. And it does the same thing. It even spreads the color a little bit faster. This might be good for younger kids. Okay. Now well, my egg is turning all sorts of colors. Cool. And it's blended. This is a good way to do coloring eggs without actually having to purchase eggs. Those are hard to come by right now. Okay, so I've got one done there. And like I said, if you wanna put it on a um, cookie tray or something to dry, that's a great idea. Even cardboard. And uh, we're gonna do one more egg just to show you how this works. Now, like I said, you want to take your marker. That's where your color's coming from. I'm gonna make more of a design this time. When you're done with your eggs and they've dried, you can also take a hole punch or even a pipe cleaner and um, poke it through your egg and create an uh, ornament for your decoration or you could tape the eggs to the window that's a good decoration or somewhere else around the house my kids like to decorate their doors with the crafts they've made and the fridge and all sorts of places Okay, I'll put one last color. Now the more water you do add to the egg, the more the colors are gonna run together. Just so you know. If you want it to be subtle, just put a little bit on the paintbrush. If you want lots of mixing, then you can use your teaspoon. And that's how to make eggs using markers. Markers and paper towel and a little bit of water. I hope you had fun.